An airship is basically a large helium balloon with an engine for propulsion. The passengers and crew ride in a gondola suspended underneath. When there's an inside frame supporting it, the airship is called a rigid type. When there's no framework, it's called a non-rigid type or blimp. The envelope material is made of five polyester-based fabrics bonded together. It's lightweight, yet resistant to harsh weather and UV rays. The crew inflates the envelope with helium, an inert, non-flammable gas. At the back of the envelope are a rudder and fins for steering. The factory constructs each fin's frame out of tough, lightweight carbon fiber. Workers coat it with adhesive, then apply a polyester aircraft fabric, adding extra adhesive to seal the seams. Then, using an iron, they heat shrink the fabric until it's taut. They repeat this process with two additional layers of fabric. Then, paint it white. They mount the fins to the airship envelope with a combination of steel cables and rope. The steel cables are rigid, but the rope has some give when the envelope flexes in flight. A system of cables and pulleys connect the rudder and fin to the cockpit. The pilot manipulates them with yokes. The flaps control up and down movement, the rudder sideways movement. Engineers inspect the envelope inside and out for pinholes to ensure no helium can leak out. To repair a pinhole, technicians first cover it with a piece of tape. Then brush on some adhesive in a circular pattern. They apply a circular patch made of the same five-layer fabric as the envelope. Using a spatula, they push out air and excess glue to ensure airtight adhesion. The airship runs on two gasoline-powered engines. Workers hoist them into the engine bay at the back of the gondola. The propeller's sharp blades are encased in a duct for safety. One propeller goes on each side. The blades of the propeller pivot to move the airship in reverse without having to stop the engine. The cockpit electrical panel has gas management gauges. Because as the airship rises, the helium expands. So the pilot has to reduce air pressure inside the envelope to keep it from bursting. In a pinch, the pilot can also open a valve to vent helium. To test the helium valve, technicians blow in pressurized air while brushing liquid along the edge. Any bubbles indicate leaks that need sealing. The valve opens and closes with levers and cables. Unlike electronic controls, cables can be repaired in mid-air if something breaks. Inside the envelope, they install air sacs called ballonets, the gray areas in this diagram. The pilot deflates the ballonets to rise and inflates them to descend. Workers attach the envelope and gondola with cables, belts, and braces, and fill a ballast tank under the gondola with water. In an emergency, the crew can dump the water for a boost of buoyancy. The gondola also has compartments for shot bags, 22-pound bags of lead. Before takeoff, the pilot checks the weight with passengers, equipment, and fuel on board. Then the crew loads enough shot bags to balance the airship. To park the airship, they lock its nose onto a mast. Just before flight time, a truck tows the mast out of the hangar. Then it's all hands on deck. Well, actually, all hands on gondola until takeoff. <laughs>